Good evening, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. Hello. Thank you, Zonia and um, Jaina. I am bad with pronunciations. I do apologize. Um, if you, and you will see me referring to my phone for two reasons. Um, my computer is too far away from me. Blind as a bat. Can't see the chat. And two, um, to look at my community page once in a while. But I'm sure G Judy will. Yes, Judy, I am well aware of that. That was about the conversation, Judy, you and I had earlier today. Put a pin in that. Thank you, Pam. Okay. First of all, Justin, I would like to say how sorry I am for your loss. I know it's painful. I know it hurts. Um, Justin, I would like to clear some things up. And I'm going to throw some cards to see what Hannah has to say. Um... I'm assuming you and Hannah have the same father. Hello, Holly. Um, your father has actually said on social media that Hannah accidentally overdosed on over-the-counter sleep aids. He was denouncing any rumors of bullying. Um, maybe um, you could help clear that up. And d did you witness the bullying firsthand? Welcome, everybody. I thank each and every one of you for all your likes and your shares. This helps spread the word and all the comments. Oh, and thank you for subscribing. Uh, it truly, truly means a lot to me. I'm so thankful for all the support that I am receiving on this channel. Uh, thank you, Pam. And I'm going to apologize to you, everybody ahead of time. If I don't call your name or whatever, it's probably because I've missed it in the chat somewhere. Um, that's why I have a moderator so she can watch the chat. Good question. Hannah's brother is in the chat right now. Okay. 
And I was actually asking him about what their father had said. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, gotcha. Um, for the first time, like I did a little bit of research and, and um, <clears throat> you know, there was a lot of rumors flying around out there. And it just seemed like your father was saying um, there was no bullying. And whether he was just trying to say that so that to, people would leave the family alone out of respect. I'm not sure, but I definitely, um, I'm mean, sitting here shuffling, um, connecting to Hannah's energy. I do feel her. She said one word. She said, why? I don't know what that is about. She says, why? Why? I'm, uh, let me connect to her a little bit further. Bullying is a really big problem with children, young adults, college students and high school students, middle school children, right down to the elementary schools, you know, it's a big problem. Some schools handle it well. By the way, Judy, that sweater is just way too hot for me to wear, but I do have a purple candle. Okay, Hannah. Now, any information that I put out is for entertainment purposes only. I am not basing it on fact. I am reading energy. It is in my opinion and what I believe to be true according to what I am seeing in the cards and in my crystal ball. Okay. Okay, Hannah. She really loved her family. Ten of Pentacles. She loved her family. She was about family. She had a special bond with you, Justin. Two of Cups. You made a change in your life. Huge, huge change. That she was one of the very few that supported that change. Um... And she's speaking directly about you, Justin. You guys were very close. No judgment here. There's a no judgment zone. The choice that you made... How do I say this? You're making, trying to make physical alter, alterations. 
That's about the best way I could put that. Um, she have a love for animals. Um, I've got the Six of Pentacles here, but I'm being drawn into the image itself. Feels like she had a real, she had a knack, she had a love for animals because animals are non judgmental. But there was something that she definitely was not very happy about. Four of Cups. Feeling rejected. Feeling like not part of anything. Not being accepted, being judged. Oh, my God. She said the truth needs to come out about the murders. Has to come out. She can't rest until it does. She was suffering from depression. She may have had an altercation with somebody. Hannah did. Yeah, she was under fire with somebody coming at her. She needed peace. She wanted to find some peace away from the noise, away from being verbally attacked. Somebody was verbally attacking her. Her star, her path. She saw it in the night sky. 
I could see her looking up into the sky and looking at the stars and wanting to reach for the stars. I'm almost ready to drop the mic. This is an overindulgence. This is excess. She passed from an overdose of something or some kind. She really did. What was this under the deck? Okay. She's saying the truth is she took too much. But it doesn't feel like over-the-counter medication, over-the-counter sleep aid. It feels like something much stronger. She was depressed. She was unhappy with life. She was under fire, tired of defending herself, tired of feeling like she didn't belong. Although she did love her family. She was really close to you, Justin. And by unliving herself, she felt was the only way that she was going to find peace and truly reach for the stars. This here... Despite what your father said, if you have the same father as her, her father, despite him saying that there was no bullying, this says otherwise. There was. There was. Okay, let me catch up on the chat for a second here. Mm. That explains a single knife. But she's also saying that somebody made a decision. King of Swords, a critical one, a strategic one, that, that, that two people, this has come up a lot, when I use this particular deck, this comes up a lot with the Idaho Four victims. That two people 
changed the, a timeline that they weren't supposed to change. I'm sorry, guys, you're just going to have to bear with me. I'm feeling a little bit nauseous. Okay. Um, and she's talking about Zana, Kaylee, Maddie, and Ethan. That one person made a decision and got somebody else in on it. Two people went in and did the deed. It was not Brian Koberger. He did not kill anybody. Whoever it was was very strong with a strength card. Brute strength. And who felt alone. Very alone. Um, she is not giving me a name. But some, I don't know if I should say this or not, Justin. But The connection between an Idaho four and your sister is somebody felt alone. It may have been somebody who felt like that they were an outcast, outcast in the family, or somebody that was close to the family and, and, and like a family friend. Correct me if I'm wrong, Justin. But it feels like you know who you may not be aware of their identity, but it's somebody that you know, somebody that Hannah knew, somebody that Maddie knew. All connected. And that's not quite right. I was, there's something about intoxication. I can't be intoxicated and have a clear mind. Somebody unknown to the public does have blood on their hands. Okay. So she works in the library a couple hours south of you. Um, yeah, there is a huge cover-up in Moscow.
Oh, the plot thickens. This is really a difficult energy. Hierophant. That's the organization. Okay. She's telling me a story about when she lived with Maddie as a roommate. That, can, that is connected to that organization. She didn't want to be a part of it. She didn't want to be a part of it. That's where her falling out with the girls came into play, particularly Maddie. And there was a lot of paranoia of what Hannah would say. I don't believe Hannah knew a lot, but she knew enough that it could cause some problems, cause some trouble. <clears throat> oh, okay, I just see that. That's interesting. I'm going to say this much. They may not be typing in the chat. May or may not. We'll put it that way. They may or they may not type something, comment in the chat. One of the perps is watching us right now. Um, connected to Maddie. And connected to Hannah. One of the perps knew both. I can't put a name on you. Nope, not getting that. But Mr. Perp, I can say this. 
I feel your energy. You want to just explode right now and scream, it was me. It was me. I did this. You're watching not just my channel, but several other, just any true crime channel, whether it's tarot reader or just a true time, a true crime documentary channel. You're subscribed to them all. And anybody that talks about Moscow, Idaho, you're tuning in. I believe you are furious that Brian Koberger is getting the credit for these heinous crimes. I'm surprised Koberger hasn't gotten accused for Hannah. But Koberger didn't do this, did he? You are so mad <clears throat> that nobody's recognizing your work and you're angry with Koberger because Koberger is stealing the spotlight. That's what I'm picking up on. You're sitting there watching the chat scroll by and you're watching me right now. And I feel your energy and you know I'm picking up on you. I may not be able to put a name to you at this time. And the why question that Hannah was asking in the beginning, Mr. Perp, I don't, it was to the perpetrator that did the, that killed those four students. Her, her question was why, why did you do it? Why did it have to come to that? It was not necessary. That was her message. Okay. Um, she's very sad and very regretful for that. But, of course, you probably don't care. Um, you're very frustrated right now. I see that. Somebody comment in the chat, this sounds like a serial killer wasn't Ted Bundy. KEP or KPP or something like that that followed the same path. BTK, that's it. Thank you, Rock That Body. That's what this reminds me of. A PTK coffee cap. But the and BTK was angry. This was beyond angry. This was personal. This was very personal with those four girls, particularly Maddie. Hannah, what about you?
death. She goes, I'm dead. It doesn't matter. But it does matter, Hannah. For us to know the truth. The devil. And eight of swords. Okay, Mr. Perpetrator, Hannah's saying that your hands are bound and that you can't come forward. I don't know why that is. Oh, okay. I, she's talking about Brian also, Brian Koberger. She's saying Brian was no angel. He was no angel. He was up to his neck in all the BS also. He didn't do the deed, though. And Koberger had nothing, absolutely nothing to do with Hannah. Hannah stuff. She's saying, I didn't even know Koberger. Um... She is saying that there will be, the tower's going to fall on the guilty. She said it will. And she just told me I didn't need the name. Just to know, to assure everybody that any wrongful doing in her life. And wrongful doing to the Idaho Four. She keeps referring to Maddie because I don't think she knew the other three that well. But she knew Maddie the most. So she keeps referring to Maddie. Victory will come. The tower is going to fall on the guilty. Oh! She said, the one behind bars will be set free. The one behind bars will be set free. That is Brian Koberger. Ace of Swords is saying the truth will come out. The truth will be revealed about the bloodshed. All of it. All of it. It is going to come out. The only thing, the only connection... That she says that she has with the Idaho for murder is the fact there was somebody close, close to the family that was way out there. Okay. And somebody close to the family. Who did these murders? And it wasn't just getting paid for a job or anything like that, which somebody did. Because somebody, one of the perps that did, that was in on it, had some pretty bad money issues. So it was a paid job. But one of the perps took the job because of the money issues and one of the victims, it was very, very personal to them. To the, It was overkill, really. She's not happy that the truth hasn't come out yet. This is heavy shit. I wasn't expecting all this. 
So, Justin, you're going to have to think of who is this that could be that close to the family. Yeah, we do. And yes, Vonda, you are correct. This is like a really heavy energy. Very heavy. Yeah, I'm very nauseous. And when I was, um, it even made my cat sick. It made my cat sick. It's pretty bad. She got sick over here. I'm not done yet. Cause she has personal messages for e for um Justin. I tell you what, I've been doing a lot of saging lately since I've been covering this case. Thank you. Thank you, Gianna. And I had to stop and stage because I felt the anger of the perpetrator. And I will not take on that energy. I'm protecting myself. Try to perp try to penetrate my energy field. No. Nope. Add a layer layer protection with some sage. Okay, Hannah. What do you want to tell your brother? See the gift in this situation. She says you need to tell what you know. Um... You were given the gift of evidence.
Okay. Just give me a minute till I get the, everything put together. Okay. Oh, she's communicating with you. She has been communicating with you. She will be there when it's your time. And she's still with you. And she said she went at the time that she was meant to go. According to her soul contract. Her time was up. There was some kind of gift that you were supposed to get out of that. On an emotional level, spiritual level. She wants you to know that you are protected. That you were everything to her. You made her happy. And she keeps stressing, I'm always with you. I'm always around you. I was always supportive and I always will be. This is the way it was supposed to be. It was her time, she said. She wants you to move on. She wants you to heal, Justin, and move on. She doesn't want you to feel any anim animosity against anybody. Okay. Yes, growth and wisdom. She doesn't really want me to dig too much more. Um, in fact, she says just a little bit. She's telling me, you know, not, not to, she says, don't push it too much. And I know exactly what she means by that. Exactly what she means. She just gave me a phrase between her. And the four, particularly Maddie, there was something about an eye for an eye. Wow. She specifically said an eye for an eye. That was the motive. An eye for an eye. Fake death. That's an untruth about a death. And there was an accomplice. It wasn't done alone. I've been saying that all, all along. <clears throat> there was political motivation. Who's the Democrat? Who's the Democrat? 
there was a crossroads that somebody kind of felt really trapped water in their emotions tunnel that they kept buried deep inside over what the public has seen media police her father as an accident but um somebody was now the perversion to me I get two things from it, but I'm only going to say one. She told me this only mention the one thing and keep the zip the lip about the other. But it's perversion as somebody with a messed up mind in yeah, inside and really messed up inside. Um, hmm. I don't feel those last two cars. They she told me to stop at that. Okay. They were traveling. Okay, somebody was traveling. Somebody may have ran. Could be referring to the car that there is controversy over. Natural causes in the reverse, which is talking about, yeah, she is confirming. No, she did. She herself did not die from natural causes or something synthetic, private property, she, which is a sign of saying stop. Stop. Hannah, I got to bring this one out. This comes up all the time. And somebody, a very, very close friend of mine, she knows who she is, she's in the chat, has said, social media is going to solve the crime. And it's confirmation here. Social media is going to solve the crimes, everything that's going on. Everything from Facebook to YouTube to Instagram, whatever, TikTok, Twitter, I mean, social media, the talk, it's going to solve the crime. Rock that body. I'm not sure what's up with that with my PayPal link. The only thing I know is people going to my website. I'm not sure what's up. I, I, I wanted to look into it today and didn't have time. Uh, there is so much more that I know. But she says, I'm not allowed to tell it. I wish I could. She's showing me other things as well. Is there anything else that you could give us, Hannah? Because that's not going to be satisfactory. I don't like vague, Hannah. I don't like vague. They don't live in the neighborhood. I get that. So that's saying they don't live near the house. What else is that telling you guys? Let's 
something about work. Distraction. Child. Small distraction. Work being a small distraction. What do you mean, Hannah? Work being a small distraction. Okay. Different deck. Okay, we've got the house. Yes. The man entered the house. by order of somebody high up. But he also had a very much a personal vendetta. Passion here. Worked very hard. So they're saying the perpetrator was a hard worker. That's what she's saying. Hard working and a thief and a liar. Okay. Works very hard at lying and thieving. Okay. So I like the storyboard to get the picture. Very defensive person. But there's also a wealthy man associated with this house. And she's telling me to be careful here. There's imprisonment. And she's talking about the man in prison, which is Koberger. What about him? Message or information about Koberger. Okay. Then to the community. Interesting. Koberger has some health issues that's not being talked about. That's it. I dropped the mic. He had health issues that would not would not would have prevented him from being able to commit such a heinous crime.
the real perpetrator went into the house, was paid to do so, had a personal vendetta. It was very personal to the real perpetrator. And he worked so hard on conduct on coming up with his lies and his story. But at the same time, the perpetrator thought it would have been figured out by now. And it's getting anxious like Koberger stealing my spotlight. So, and it is a wealthy man that's in charge of this whole thing. Associated with the house, could be even associated with the college. Um, but she's going on to say that the man in prison, that there is information that is being hid from the community concerning Koberger's health. That Koberger was not in any kind of physical condition to pull off such a crime. He's got some kind of health issue. And that's where I dropped the mic. Yep, I sure do. I get it. Judy, I get it. Yes. But let me make this clear. I know more than what what I'm allowed to say. Okay. Hannah had showed me some things. But she said, it'd be in my best interest at this time to keep it quiet. That I need to trust in my upper higher guidance when to bring it out. She said, right now is not the time. So... <clears throat> I will continue to do videos. There are a lot of people connected. But. Thank you so much, Amy. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for all the donations. I very much appreciate it. Yes, rock that body. So I'm going to leave it there. I know I didn't get to anybody's questions, but there was a certain story that Hannah needed to get out. One of those stories, definitely not Koberger. Um, I didn't even realize he had some kind of health issue.
And as I'm thinking about it, I'm like getting pain in my lower back. So he might have, you know, something with his back or spinal, something. It would have been too much pain on him and he would not have had the strength to carry out heinous crimes like that. Not against Hannah, not against anybody. Okay. He has protection. I saw that. I saw the protection around him. Um, so, Justin, yes, you are protected. And I think I even said that. I saw the protection around you. Okay, moi here, drinking too many of these Starbucks coffee drinks. Yeah. Um, 8.30, after, uh, 8.30, almost a quarter to nine at night, I'm just drinking Starbucks caffeine. But it's also, my bladder is yelling at me right now. Storm dancer. So, yeah, you're right. Why pin it on somebody with such knowledge in crime? But think about this. The perpetrator had to run out of the house quickly, probably got into a vehicle, probably a driver involved, gets in the vehicle, supposedly a white Elantra. Why isn't there one little even tiny speck of blood in that car? Not even a hair from a victim. Not even a, a skin cell. Nothing. Absolutely no DNA. Brian's DNA on the button of the um, knife sheath. Where's the knife? Okay, number one. Number two, it wasn't direct DNA. He didn't actually physically touch that button. It was transferred to that button somehow. Transferred DNA. Someone who touched Koberger touched that button. Or lifted a fingerprint somewhere to put on that button. Something. That's the only evidence. The white Elantra in the videos has a sunroof. Koberger's Elantra 
does not have a sunroof. It wasn't the same car. It wasn't Koberger's car. Yeah. Uh-huh, gotcha. Very simple, Trish. Why was PK framed? They had to pin it on somebody. Here's the scenario. Murders happen. Parents panic. They pull their school children out of the college. The college is an essential part of the infrastructure. It is essential to the survival of that town economically. Without the college functioning, that counts just another old cow town in the Midwest. Okay? They needed, they need that revenue from the college. They had to find a scapegoat somewhere, public getting anxious, end of the semester and the next semester being getting ready to start. We need to get these students back here and the parents don't want to send them to school because there, there was a murder on the loose. So they frame somebody. Hey, we got a killer. He's locked up. It's safe now. You could come back to school. That's why. Yeah, well, I'm sure it is. The enrollment's way down. Um, Vonda, just a nine DM could that have made the energy feel this way. Absolutely. And the DM being in the chat, maybe not saying anything, but definitely watching. That DM was waiting for me to pull a name up. I didn't.
I didn't get the name. I wa I was told I was not allowed to know the perps' names. Not at this time. Yeah, you're right, Amy. Same here, Vonda. But anyhow, I'm going to have to end it here. Thank you, everybody, for joining. Thank you for all the donations. I do need to log off of here. And those in the United States celebrating Labor Day, have a beautiful holiday weekend. Be safe. Don't catch yourself on fire at the grill. I know somebody that did that because when they were spraying lighter fluid, they accidentally sprayed it on themselves. Yeah, that wasn't pretty. But regardless, everybody be safe. Love you all. And I will see you. In the next video, love and light.